Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a closer look at the brand new released Huawei Nova 9. So well guys, the Huawei Nova 9 is Huawei's comeback. So it's the first device running Harmony OS in the version 2.0 and I will quickly walk you through the phone, show you the features, show you the camera, the gaming performance. So I would say let's go and let's check it out. All right, so there we go. Here's the Huawei Nova 9 and well, it has just been released with the app gallery with EMUI 12 and yeah, it's a really amazing phone. So the Nova 9, as you can see, this version here comes with 128 gigabytes of ROM, 8 gigabytes of RAM and the color is called Starry Blue. If you check it out, it looks really nice. So in the light, sometimes it turns a little bit yellowish, purple and orange. It's looking quite neat. Also, um, you don't see any fingerprints on it. Of course, if you have very smudgy fingers and then you can see a little bit on it, but it's much more convenient than that glossy glass. Anyhow, um, what's inside of the box? Well, um, the usual things, you always get charger and um, charging cable. Now, um, Huawei is actually using the 66 watt supercharging technology Huawei Supercharge and this charges the phone in 38 minutes to 100%. So that's really good. Battery is 4,300 milliamp hours. And then um, here you can see the Type-C cable. Always make sure you use the right Type-C cable. So if you use a cheap one with the charger, you may not get the power. So make sure it's orange here on the inside and you use original Huawei accessories. So, ladies and gentlemen, there we go, the Nova 9. It reminds me a lot on the P30 Pro because we have that curved um, screen right over here. It feels really good in the hand. Um, the size is also really nice. So we have an OLED display, 1 billion colors, 120 hertz, HDR10. Now, the display size is 6.57 inches and we have a 1080 times 2340 resolution, so full HD+. Plus. Now, the back, as you can see, um, has this nice color, as I've told you before. We have a quad camera system right over here. So here we have the main camera and here three other cameras. We'll talk about the cameras just in a second. So the main camera is 50 megapixels f1.9. We have an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, 2 megapixel f2.4 depth camera and 2 megapixel 2.4 macro camera to get some really nice detail shots and an LED flash. So this design is also quite new and it's kind of unique. So definitely if you see the smartphone, you know exactly that is the Nova 9. Now on the right side, as you can see, super slim um, curve and we have the power button right over here, volume rocker right over here. Top, we have a top microphone. On um, this side, there's actually nothing. And at the bottom right over here, we have the speaker, we have the Type-C port, microphone and the SIM slot. So yeah, that looks kind of great. Now the chipset in the Huawei Nova 9 is the Snapdragon 778G. So it's a 4G chipset with six nanometers quad core processor. And it's actually really fast and snappy, also supported by the eight gigabytes of RAM. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's running EMUI, um, Harmon US 2.0. So this is e EMUI 12.0.1. Here you can see the specs again. And EMUI is actually really neat because it is really, really smooth. The reason why it's also smooth, so basically um, what is supporting this is the 120 Hertz display. If you go to the display settings, you can switch it on here to dynamic. Now, Huawei is not the first one to come out with 120 Hertz or 90 Hertz in the past, but their optimization is actually quite good. So uh, in the dynamic mode, you really don't have any um, cuts on the battery. Now you can use it also all the time in 120 Hertz mode, but I don't recommend this unless you're a gamer and you just want to use it in 120 Hertz for gaming. But um, as you can see here, you don't notice anything when it's scaling up. Also in the games, it will just switch to 120 Hertz if the game supports it and that's really neat. And you also don't have any cuts on the battery. Anyhow, let's quickly go through everything here. We have Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth, and we have also NFC because um, you can also pay with the smartphone. So NFC on right over here, as you can see. 
then home screen wallpapers in EMUI, you have some really beautiful skins. Um, we also have an always on display, which you can customize. And as you can see, um, it is growing a lot. So we have here analog clocks, digital clocks, some artistic things, graffiti. So I'm pretty sure in the future, it will be much, much more customizable. Then um, display and brightness we've seen already. So here you can switch to the 120 Hertz and also the screen resolution. So you can use it also in low resolution to save power or smart resolution, which is also my recommendation because it's a perfect mix between saving power and um, high resolution. Now let's go back right over here, biometrics and password. This is probably quite interesting. So um, we have an in-display fingerprint scanner and it's a little bit lower here on the Nova 9. It's at the bottom. And if you tap it, boom, it's actually really fast and working quite good. Now for sure, um, in regards to security, so um, still the security on Huawei smartphones is good. You don't need to worry uh, about it, even though it doesn't have Google or anything. So you don't have any security issues. Then other than that, we have the HMS core integrated into the smartphone. That means we have also here the app gallery, as you can see, which um, is built on HMS core. There are frequent updates on the app gallery as well. So as you can see, there's just an update coming in and also the apps update over the app gallery. The app gallery is really improving. It comes with a lot of local apps already. So let's open it up again, updating the app. And you also have those um, little icons right over here, which shows you, for instance, I have 26 updates pending here in the app gallery. And there we go. And let's check out what we can see here. So popular and new apps. So here you basically see what is new in the app gallery. And as you can see, they onboard a lot of global brands. We have already Tinder in there, Viber, we have Amazon in there, Trivago for traveling, Adidas. So a lot of brands are actually also using now the app gallery because the app gallery has a lot of users. I cannot tell you the exact number right now because this is what Huawei kind of keeps secret, but it is growing and the grow is really strong. So a lot of people are actually also preferring to have a Huawei smartphone because they want to get out of the Google ecosystem. And as you can see, updating the apps is not a problem at all. All apps that are in the app gallery can be updated through the app gallery, but there are also different ways on how to install apps. You can use Petal Search, which is um, Huawei's own um, search engine. And here you can actually install apps directly through it. You can use it to also search on Google or whatever, but also to search directly for apps. For instance, um, let's try to find some application like um, let's do WhatsApp. And if you search for WhatsApp, which is not on the app gallery yet, it will actually switch automatically to apps because it's, yeah, it knows directly you're searching for WhatsApp the app. And you can go here to the official website to install it or APK Pure, which are verified sources. And that's really nice. Anyhow, if you still rely on Google mobile services, just like me, because I'm a YouTuber, I need to have access to YouTube completely, to YouTube Studio, you can use Cheesepace. Cheesepace is a nice workaround. You can install Cheesepace from the app gallery, and this allows you to access the Play Store and use apps with Google mobile services. So if we open up YouTube here, and there we go, it will actually use Cheesepace to open YouTube and then you can even log in and that's really amazing. So as you can see, I'm currently logged in. I have my notifications right over here. My internet is just a little bit slow right now, but yeah, YouTube is working fine as you can see. Then um, let's go back here. Um, we can also actually go to Cheesepace and um, drag apps out onto the home screen. Now in order to do that, all you have to do is just tap and hold and create a shortcut on the home screen. And that's really amazing because then you don't need to open Cheesepace all of the time. You just open up the app here and it's like you have it natively on your phone. So there is really no need anymore for the Play Store. Just I rely on some things like, um, for instance, Tesla is using Google Maps integration. That is why I'm using Cheesepace to actually fully use the Tesla app. Anyhow, um, Huawei is offering now a lot of SDKs to developers to actually get rid of Google Maps integration or other Google APIs to use it um, with the HMS kit and so they can publish it on the app gallery. Now Harmon US 2.0, as you can see, it comes with a brand new nice control panel. So what you see right over here is you see all your Huawei devices which are connected. So I had the FreeBuds 4, the FreeBuds um, 4i, and you can easily with one tap just connect 
to your devices. And also you can set a master device. So if you go to device plus right over here, um, this is basically where you can see all your Huawei devices. Let me um, show you an example. If you own, for instance, a Huawei TV, a Huawei smart speaker, you can instantly access them from the smartphone. Same goes for the laptop. I've already shown this on the Huawei MatePad 11. And this is really cool that all the devices work together. So they're building up their own ecosystem. Anyhow, I think you see already how smooth it is. Also the integration of Huawei music is kind of nice. So um, Huawei is pushing a lot of their own services. You have also a lot of nice things integrated like wireless projection, uh, Miracast basically. We have a screen recorder integrated. So all kind of neat features. And my favorite one is the dark mode, which turns everything natively into black. And so you can black out your phone, also with the OLED, save some battery, even though it's not much. And this is also a nice thing about EMUI because they can totally rebuild the UI and to make also some really neat, um, yeah, some neat changes to the theme. Now, many of you guys ask, when will there finally be payments with Huawei smartphones? And now there are payments. And the partner is called Curve. Actually, if you want to follow news on a Huawei smartphone, you can also go to My Huawei. There you also see the news. Basically here they announced that the App Gallery is partnering up with the Curve app and also with a lot of local banks. So banking apps, no problem at all. Even my bank account works also with the security app. And now with the partnership with Curve, you can also pay with the smartphone, which is pretty amazing too. Now the Curve app, you can download from the app gallery. It's a native app. Don't need to use any workaround for this. And here you can also see, especially for my Austrian friends, a lot of um, banks that are here in Austria, they have native apps that are 100% secure on Huawei smartphones. Now guys, but what about the camera? Huawei was always very famous for the camera quality. So while um, we have different lenses, as I've showed you before, the ultra wide camera we have the normal wide camera then native 2x as you can see right over here which is looking really good and also a 10x hybrid right over here and if you want to utilize the macro camera you can actually go to super macro and then you can take some close-up shots I did before here on my table and as you can see you can even see all the details right over here from the table mat so that's really cool but then we also have this nice vlog feature, which is um, basically utilizing different cameras. So rear front, um, there is front and rear, which is really cool because this basically gives you two angles in one video. Then there is um, two rear cameras. So it's using um, both cameras like the zoom camera and the normal camera. And there is picture in picture if you want to react to something that's also really cool. So it gives you also some nice possibility to create some nice video for instance for TikTok. Now talking about videos. So videos we have 4K30, that's the maximum the chipset can do. But you can actually switch to full screen right over here or um, 1080p in general, 16 to 9, which gives you the, uh, um, yeah, which gives you 60 FPS recording. So 1080p 60 is possible, but 4K 60, nope. The same actually goes for the front facing camera. So hello, um, right over here, as you can see, 1080p 60 and in pictures, um, yeah, looks like this here as well. You have a lot of things like assistive grid, horizontal level. So I don't think I need to guide you for all the things. Now the night mode is still pretty good on Huawei smartphones. So just keep it steady and um, I will just show you some pictures afterwards so you can judge for yourself. There is a portrait mode which works with all the different lenses and here under more, last but not least, we also have the pro mode which I can really recommend to check out if you do a lot of photography. And here you also have the option to switch to raw. So for raw pictures, this is also really nice or JPEG um, L or normal JPEG, you can switch right over here. And here in the settings as well, you have all the usual things like um, grids and you can even add the Huawei watermark if you like to. Then there's also high resolution mode, which is using um, the 50 megapixel sensor. So the full 50 megapixel, if you use that. I don't use this too often, but it's a nice feature to have. And of course, we also have an aperture mode and there you can adjust the aperture right over here. So it goes to F16 from F0.95. Um, so I will now just show you some sample pictures so you can judge for yourself. Make sure to check it out. And yeah, then let's continue.
Hey guys, so here's a quick front-facing camera test of the Huawei Nova 9. I'm currently recording here in 4K, also currently editing the video you're watching right now. And anyhow, um, I'm recording right now in 4K in 30fps, 60fps is not possible. And I'm holding it like 80 centimeters away from my body. And it could be a little bit more wider. So if I hold it more comfortable here, and as you can see, it's kind of close. So that's my only concern. But other than that, well, it's doing a good job. And now let's switch to the rear camera. All right, guys, now a quick rear camera test. So you can switch also between the lenses. I will quickly show you how that looks like. If you switch from the normal one to the wide angle and you don't have a lot of light due to the different aperture, it will actually turn darker as you can see. So this is how the gaming room looks right now. There's still plenty of things to do here. Anyhow, I just quickly wanted to test the video quality so you can judge for yourself and also listen to the audio quality. And now back to the video. But what about gaming on a Huawei smartphone? Well, the terminals on this phone are pretty good. It doesn't really get hot. Then we have a 120 hertz screen. So if the game supports 120 hertz, you can definitely benefit from it even though I don't think it makes a really really big difference but for hardcore gamers it definitely does. Bluetooth latency for controller support is also really good and the chipset as you can see is fast enough for actually all the 3D games available. So yeah um, definitely for gaming the Huawei Nova 9 is not a bad phone and it's doing a really really good job. But what about the screen and the sound? So well, dual speakers, it's using that earpiece right over here and the bottom speaker and YouTube, perfectly nice. So you can zoom in here to fill it. And um, the curve, of course, um, it makes it more immersive, but you need to like curved screens. It's an OLED screen that looks really beautiful. It's also bright enough for outdoors use. And yeah, overall the screen quality and sound quality on Huawei smartphones are always really top notch. So guys, we're now here at the end of this video and the question is, is the Huawei Nova 9 worth it? And well, yes, it is a good phone and you don't need to worry about apps anymore and Harmony OS 2.0 is really interesting. It's also really nice if you want to detox from Google, you can use some Google apps, but you don't have to use the Google apps. Also, many things are evolving. As you see, um, the partnership with Curve, you can pay with the smartphone. So I'm really, really curious what we're going to see next year. Now also guys, I want to hear your feedback. What do you think about the Huawei Nova 9? Leave a comment down below. I'm really interested in your opinion. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask and also leave a comment down below. As always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out.